My name is Peston. I live in Cape Town. Also, I do uh, delivery. Interbed helped me to realize my dreams. Now I have my own delivery vehicle and I'm able to do the removal in and around Cape Town. A very good morning from myself, Devon Governor, and welcome to the Gallup TV selection show for the race meeting that takes place on the 24th of March, this Sunday. We're racing on the turf at Hollywood Bet's Gravel Racecourse. It's an absolute pleasure to be working alongside Rahil Radhakrishna. He's going to give us his selection and previews. Hopefully we can find some nice bets for you this Sunday. Good morning, Rahil. How are you doing? Very well, thanks to yourself, Devon. Yes, uh, looking forward to uh, the program on Sunday Nine Races to look forward to with race number one uh, being a maiden juvenile plate. It's obviously exciting whenever we get to see the juveniles run. And um, I'm looking forward to the card on Sunday. It is... Uh, a meeting where we've got the King's Cup, so we get our first taste of uh, some feature racing here in KZN before uh, things start to heat up as uh, the weeks uh, go on and uh, we get into uh, May where the season will kick into a full swing, the KZN champion season. But uh, in the upcoming weeks, we've got a couple of feature races that will take place. So, um, yeah, all is going well. Yeah, exciting times ahead. Of course, we've got uh, a small feature this Sunday, but uh, let's kick straight into it with race number one that jumps at 1,200 hours. It's over 1,200 meters. It's the next flashing and metal works maiden juvenile plate for fillies. First, we're going to have a look at a rerun off number two, The Ghost, before we give you our selections and previews. At the subway, 300 to go, million voices. Mr. Nibbles, the closest danger. The ghost is trying to wear them down on the outside. 200 to go, million voices. Back in second, Mr. Nibbles, the ghost trying to get in. But million voices continues to rock and roll and doing as she is bred. will take the first prize. Second, the ghost, Mr. Nibbles and Samuel Longsword ran fourth in race number one. Well, I'm just watching that rerun, Rahil, and I'm getting even more confident. I've had a good look at that rerun a few times. I know that there is horses here that will improve, but my firm first selection is number two, the ghost from the Paul Lafferty yard with Muzi Yeni aboard. <coughs> Excuse me. I thought that uh, debut effort was an absolute cracker, finishing second 1.1 lengths behind Million Voices and started to really kick late in the day there. I think the step up to 1,200 meters will suit down to the ground and this horse has a beautiful draw of two which could make all the difference. Main dangers could be uh, number six, Magical View who is holding solid form there. That last two runs are good, never far off the action. And I expect this individual to be right there. So include this in your trifectas, exactors and quartets. And then also a horse like number eight, I see Lancaster, that's currently trading at around about nine to two. Not a bad debut effort there at all, only finishing 4.4 lengths behind the winner. So you have to throw that into the equation. But for me, Rahil, I'm on number two, the ghost. Yeah, Devon, I'm in full agreement with you with number two, the ghost. She's got a lot in her favor on, on Sunday and uh, 1,200 meters of distance that I think will suit her quite nicely. That debut performance, there was a lot of confidence about her running a forward race and, and, and doing well. And she did just that. Found one too good on the day. The horse with the experience from the Michael Miller yard got the job done. And I think that this filly can only improve with, with racing. And Paul Lafty seems to believe that uh, she's a filly that has got a lot of ability and could do well, could win a fair share of races. So we've got to take his word for that. With Muzieni aboard once again, she met um, Open Company. So she met the boys on debut as well. And I thought it was a, it was a cracking performance. And I think that she's going to take a step in the right direction. And uh, for me, she's no doubt the horse to beat. Number six, Magical View, looks to be the immediate danger. 